It is the 16th day of April 2018. Welcome to New Vision TV News around Uganda. I am Roy Thina Sejay here. We look at stories making headlines across the country and we can start with this bulletin from Kasese. Four people have been arrested in connection of the poisoning of the 11 lions in Queen Elizabeth National Park in Kasese District. The park's chief warden, Edward Swalu, said on Saturday the four suspects were arrested from Hamukungu Landing Village and are detained at Katwe Division Police Headquarters. Eswalu said the police is conducting forensic analysis on the samples of the remains of the lions which are dead which are the dead flies and other insects that are that the experts collected from the scene. He adds that the charges preferred against the suspects would depend on the results of the analysis. But if proven that the suspects participated in the poisoning, they could be charged with being in possession of dangerous chemicals and using them in a prohibited area. Tourism Minister Professor Ephraim Kamuntu described the killing of the lions as a tragic blow to the tourism industry and all conservationists. Kamuntu led a moment of silence in honor of the dead lions. And news coming in from Tungamo district, farmers have been urged to invest in modern farming to maximize their harvest. Henry Nyakojo, the agriculture modernization activist, told farmers that best farming practices would increase their output and enable them to kick poverty out of their homes. He made the call on Friday after being told by the youth in Kabatsu sub-county, Kajara in Tungamo, that most farmers in the district still depended on traditional ways of farming. He said these had largely hampered the agriculture output. Nyakonjo challenged the district leadership to invest in helping farmers by building their skills in value addition and urged the government to build the capacity of institutions so as to help the farmers. Yeah, your copy of the New Vision is already on sale at only 2,000 shillings. And the headlining story today is government to sell 1,500 Asian properties. These assets include buildings, land worth billions. So get your copy of the New Vision and get the story here. Also, in the New Vision, we have Angela Attackers released on bond. Also, in the New Vision, Mari or you are fired says the bishop. We have the details of that story into the scope of the new vision. Moving on, uh, we have Museven gives workshop to Rukunjiri carpenters. Yeah, we have a very, I have a picture here. Uh, president was in Rukunjiri district. Moving on, President meets massacre district robbery victim. Okay. <laughs> So get that story here in the new vision. Janet M7 pays tribute to Winnie Mandela. Winnie Mandela died uh, this April and she was buried on Saturday. Yeah. Also in the new vision we have the the health and the beauty pullout which comes out every Monday. Uh, the headlining story is, is hemophilia, the male only disease. Did you know that hemophilia can only be contracted by males? Yeah, we have this story here in detail into the scope of the new vision, the symptoms, uh, prevalence, uh, causes, all, uh, all the details are in here. So grab your copy and also find uh, also in the harvest money pullout, uh, sorry, health and beauty pullout, uh, ask your doctor. There are questions that doctors are answering. I guess you could also find the answers here. Uh, also, children diagnosed with diabetes. The stories were also right here in the, have the, in the he health and beauty pullout. Yeah, also every Monday we have the infrastructure pullout. It's our uh, best Monday offering. The headlining story is Uganda Congo to boost trade. We have the story here how Uganda and Congo are partnering to boost trade. Still in the have infrastructure pullout, will the SGR transform Uganda? 
Mm -hmm. That is a question and the answers are right here. So grab your copy of The New Vision at only 2,000 shillings and get the stories. Also, every Monday we have the jobs. If you're looking for a job or you're tired of your career or you think you can do something uh, besides what you used to, to used to, uh, the Monday paper gives you the jobs. And today's copy of The New Vision has 220 jobs. Trust me, if Ugandans get this copy every Monday, cases of unemployment will have reduced. So we have all the jobs here. So grab your copy and find which best suits you and which you could grab and, hmm, and enjoy your life. <laughs> okay, moving on to the uh, sports docket, our heroes. We have a picture of our heroes here. Uh, these ones are participated in the Commonwealth Games. We have... The man himself, Joshua Achiptege, with two gold medals. We have uh, Stella Chesang with a gold medal. We have um, Solomon Mutai with a silver medal. And uh, we have Marcelin Chilangat with bronze and also uh, Juma Miro bronze medal. So get your story here. If you, didn't, uh, if you missed what was happening last week, uh, New Vision, uh, the sports segment has it for you, how the events uh, unfolded, how Cheptege won two gold medals, and how our other champions won their medals. So grab your copy at only 2,000 shillings. And remember, we are the leading daily. Okay, away from the copy of the New Vision, let's continue with the stories that are making headlines across the country and we move on to Sorority District. The High Court in Sorority has convicted six people over the murder of an 18-year-old suspect, Paolo Opolot, while in police custody at Cherry Police Station in Sorority District. The convicts include two police officers, James Ejotu, Emmanuel Nyotu, at and near sub-county internal security. Security officer David Ekelu. Others are Moses Okui, his wife Christine Betty Atiang, and Julius Okuria, a brother of Okui. The resident judge David Batema said prosecution established that the convicts on January 12, 2014, murdered Opolot, who had been detained at Cherry Police Station by strangling him in the cell. Opolot had allegedly defiled the daughter of Moses Okui under Christine Betty Atiang in Aksim village, Serere district. But Emma said court findings proved that the killers tied a rope around Opolot's neck after his mother declined to uh, to give three million shillings to the parents of the defiled girl. Finally, from Karamoja, transport to Karamoja has been paralyzed after most bridges were washed away by floods. On Sunday morning, Kaungole was washed away, making transport to Sorority difficult. Those traveling to Sorority and Napak districts have, been, have to travel to Mbali Vena Kapiripiriti, now a distance of 400 kilometers instead of the usual 161 kilometers and 22 kilometers, respectively. By Sunday morning, traffic had been diverted to Totome and Lorengwat Trading Center before linking to Morito, Nakapiripiriti, and Mbari towns. John Oporot, a truck driver plying the Moroto Sorority Road, said since the onset of the rains, business has been paralyzed. And that's all we had for you. Thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more news updates and, the, and other programs here on New Vision TV by visiting our website www.newvision.co.eug forward slash video. I am Rathi Nasenje.